All right, welcome. Today we're gonna to be making Neapolitan coffee cream or an Italian known as La Cremina del Cafe, which essentially is the sugar and a little bit of the thick beginning parts of espresso whipped up for a pretty long time, about five minutes. And it creates this like pale, really thick, sweet like coffee cream. And you add it to your shot of espresso and it's super delicious. So we're gonna get to making it right now. Now I'm gonna be using two different beans to make the cream. I'm gonna use my favorite espresso blend just because I really like this. I like the flavor of it. And I made this before and it tasted really good. But for the actual espresso itself, we're gonna go with a Neapolitan blend. This is from Oakland, California. It's named Mr. Espresso. The person that actually started this company is from Naples. So I thought it was very fitting and it's a place I've been to before. I like their coffee. So let's get into it. All right, so I just prepared everything as normal. I kind of wanted to take it out of the video to not make it as long, but we have 18 grams in and I'm gonna be using the spouted porta filter that comes with the stock uh, Me Coffee Apex or the Turn Legato. And I'm just gonna pull two shots, just the beginning of it. So that really thick, dark uh, part of the shot is what we're looking for. So we're gonna let that run for about five more seconds. There we go. All right, so we got a very concentrated part of the shot ready to go. Now this is gonna be making our cream. So we're gonna be doing four teaspoons of sugar to two teaspoons of espresso. This is probably a little bit more, but I'm probably gonna take the bottom part, so I'm gonna mix it together really well and we'll get going. Now, before I continue, I wanna say the traditional way to make this is how people really make coffee at home and that's with a mocha pot. Now, you can get this at cafes, but a lot of people, they do this at home with just, when they're starting to brew their mocha pot, they'll pour it out right into the sugar immediately, just a little bit, and then whisk it, and then use the rest of the mocha pot to be the base of their coffee, then they'll add in the cream afterwards. And they also traditionally whip it with a spoon. Now, I did that yesterday, and it took a lot of time, and I have work today, so I don't wanna do too much, so I'm gonna do this manually with this. Um, but we're gonna get into it right now. There's actually nothing to weigh here, but I'm used to putting things on a scale. So we're going to do four teaspoons of granulated cane sugar. Now, I know this is a half teaspoon. I don't know where the full one went, so bear with me. We got There's two. Three, three and a half, four. There's four teaspoons right there. Now we're gonna add our espresso. So this, half a tablespoon is one and one half teaspoon. So we're gonna add two teaspoon total. There we go. Try to get all that out too. It might be a little bit over. Just perfectly okay. And add a slight more splash to it. So there we go. And then we'll just add a little extra splash. I'm gonna use all of it. And now we're gonna whisk it. And by the end, this is what we get. So it's kind of like palish, light caramel in color. It's pretty thick. 
And you're just gonna dollop a little bit of this in your espresso to really help out with balance and deliciousness. Now these are pretty dark roasts. So this is a Neapolitan blend. So we're gonna pull a shot with this. this is the first shot I'm gonna pull. Well, I have a step grinder. So these beans are roasted on the 28th. It is now the 10th of January. It's been about two weeks. All right. So these are more of a dark roasted blend. So I had to change my grinder size and these are actually about two weeks old. And if you know, darker roasts actually lose their like peak um, and degrade a little bit faster than lighter roasts. So we're gonna go 19.8 on this. These darker roasts are a little bit more dense. Seal this up real quick. And now for darker roast, I just go with one spray. That was a very terrible spray. There we go. Ended up being like two sprays. That's okay. Get that going. And the way I like to grind this, like this. Kind of funnel it in as we go. Oh, it dropped and fell right into my bowl. All right. Now I'll put the lid back on, get all the retention. All right. This, all right. So we put in 20 grams, we got 20 grams out. Now we're gonna go with our normal process. So let me wipe this down real quick. Get all this condensation, lay agua off. All right, so we have our puck ready to be prepped. I'm just gonna do my normal routine. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna do a little bit of WD team with the manual one, and I have my Normcore one. This is just so I can apply a little pressure myself. Come in, grab this boy, which is uh, very good, very easy, and very efficient, so you don't need to spin it that much. It is fun to play with. All right. Come with our wedge distributor. Whoa. All right, we wedged it up. Now for the final, get a tamp going. All right. Blow away all this excess. We have a nice, evenly uh, pupped, pre yeah. prepped puck. There we go. I can't fucking speak. Now all we're going to do is what we normally do is we're going to pull the shot. And at the end, we're going to add a little dollop, mix it in, and then that's it. So here we go. All right, so we actually pulled a really nice shot. So came out beautifully, very even. In uh, 30 seconds, we got almost a perfect one to two ratio. We put about 20 grams even in and we got 39.5 out, so I like that. And all we're gonna do is we have this, it's been sitting out. Now it's probably made about 15, 20 minutes ago. So you just wanna kind of refresh it a little bit, just mix it up. And all we're gonna do is Take one, this is a teaspoon. I'm gonna take one teaspoon. We're just gonna mix it in here. And what you'll see at the top is it'll kind of look like crema when it comes at the top. Like when it all settles. Okay. 
So we added about five grams, maybe six total. So we're gonna give this a try. Now look at the top, like I said, it kind of looks like crema, but it's not. Here we go, cheers. That's fucking delicious. Now, the thing about it is, I personally like the taste of dark roast. I like that intensity, especially this is like an Italian style, uh, specifically Naples or Neapolitan blend, where they like their coffee intense there. So it's a lot of darker flavors. It's a little bit more bitter. It's a little bit more intense. Um, so this, when you add this to the shot, it just kind of balances it out where you get that hint of bitterness and intenseness and this kind of nice fluffy layer of sweetness and kind of like extra texture. So like for me, I like a very bodied shot. Um, I really like that texture. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to me. And sometimes all of our shots aren't as textured or full bodied as we want. And when you add this, cause it's a very thick little cream made out of coffee and sugar, it just kind of makes the whole shot feel a little thicker, feel a little bit more full. And it adds a lot in that regard. It adds a lot to taste and it's absolutely delicious. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you give this a try because it's delicious. And I'll see you guys next time.